there is a loose dog running around the neighborhood. Today ended week two of my workout plan that I'm currently on. I decided to go ahead and add in another shoulder day to my workouts, but I didn't add like a full day to it. I just added it to my plyometrics today, if that makes any sense. Oh, I went to Target today and uh, I actually remembered to stop and look at the ice cream aisle because thought some people were getting their halo top ice cream at targets um if they are maybe they are man I, I don't know i don't remember but um i was like you know what i've never had halo top before and they didn't have anything like that here i am a little bit under the weather today don't want my chapped lips uh, <laughs> uh i just feel icky but i'm gonna try to get in my workout Still gonna try to get in my workout today. Gonna do delts and tries. I'm also dealing with a uh, particularly sassy six-year-old today. Nope, I'm not sassy. Hey Link, you can't do that right now because Miss Layla's sleeping. Okay, so don't drop them like that. Okay. You can take. I said don't drop them. Yeah, after I finish my coffee which has, of course, my protein powder mixed in there, um, and my bagel, and then I'm gonna work out. And I'm gonna set the kids up with Minecraft while I do it. And that's become like their computer time is when mommy works out at home, because I don't like to go to the gym on the weekends. There's only childcare on Saturdays on the weekend, not on Sunday at all, so Sunday's kind of out. But I don't like going on Saturday either, and I don't like going in the afternoons during the week because that's when everyone's there. So everyone's off of work, kids are out of school, so everyone's at the gym and it's like so frustrating. So typically during the week, I, I go Monday through Friday, like first thing in the morning, as soon as I can get everybody up and dressed and out the door before lunch. Last night we were eating comfy cookies and I cookies and we went to Harold's house to Pie's house and to me's house. So I, I'll be here today. Oh, nice. Oh, this I like is, that. This is how my paper girls are going to look. This is how my makeup girls pee -pee. are going to look like when they pee -pee. come to my little makeup pee -pee. store. Pee -pee. Nice. Pee -pee. That's beautiful. But pee -pee. this was Rudolph. That's that's why you see red nose. Oh, I see that. But maybe the um. Rudolph inspired. I like that. Ah, uh, maybe the little Ru Rudolph stuff like up here got like raised up. That's okay. That's okay. I made my own girl by by like tracing that. this one. By copying that one. <laughs> that's awesome. You did an that's excellent why job. Going here. You did a great job. You like doing makeup, huh? Yeah, so at night, I, instead of doing that at, on my dollies, I could do it on the paper. Exactly. But I, I think I could need my mommy's help drawing a lot of these so I can. Yeah, we'll make, we'll make a lot more of them for you so that way you can do some more. Okay? So I just wanted to take a second here to talk about um, the topic of motivation. So I can't help but now when I do see people say, hey, I just need to get motivated. I just need to find some motivation. Yeah, I'm trying to get motivated. I'm like, why are you wasting your time? That's a waste of time to me. Because motivation is completely temporary. And when I say temporary, I mean like about a day, maybe two, three if you're lucky. And then it's gone. And suddenly you have to get re-motivated to get back on the bandwagon or back on track or whatever because you got unmotivated and now you need to get re-motivated. Like it's, it's an excuse. It's another excuse. So um, motivation is it's something that you do on your phone late at night and you're suddenly looking through either Instagram or you're on Pinterest making a whole Pinterest board um, about it. Uh, where you're just finding pictures of people who are really fit or skinny or whatever it is that you're aiming for and you're using these other people as motivation and their pictures as motivation not the people the pictures think about it this way you're on a deserted island and you have an opportunity to get off of it and you can you have two options here you can either wait patiently 
to build a very strong, strong, strong boat to get off that island. And most likely you'll make your way somewhere. Or you can just strap it all together with a couple of, you know, logs or whatever um, and build a little raft to try to escape on. Uh, which one of those do you think is gonna last the longest or give you the best chance of surviving? It's gonna be the boat. So to me, motivation is that raft. Motivation is something that, yeah, let's do this. We're gonna like get fit, we're gonna get these big muscles, we're gonna have a nice little waist, it's, it's gonna be great, we're gonna do this. The problem is that motivation goes away. It disappears quickly. Like I said, it lasts maybe a day, two, three. Once you get to something like really hard, like just maintaining what you're doing, your, your plan, after like three or four days, uh, you hit that roadblock and it's hard to get over it. And suddenly it becomes a like, oh, well, I'm not really motivated, so forget it. So I wanted to kind of go back to that talk I was having with you guys earlier today about um, motivation and how it's not uh, a sustainable thing, how motivation is just temporary. Um, and how doing something all or nothing is kind of, doesn't seem to work. <laughs> I, have, I have not seen anyone really make that um, sustainable for them. You are just getting started. You wanna get fit. You wanna maybe lose some weight, maybe build some muscle. Then I would suggest starting with your workouts um, because honestly the working out aspect of it is probably the easiest part of um, changing your life to be healthier and fitter so I would probably start there because that's I mean at least that's what I did really uh, was start with focusing all my energy on the workouts you know make sure I was I had the proper form that I was doing them consistently so my post workout is 22 grams of that guy and 75 grams of that guy. Mix it all together and then cook it like a normal pancake. And I actually don't even use syrup with this. I just pick it up and eat it because it's just that good. I finally found enlightened ice cream at my local Winn-Dixie. They only had two flavors available. That was red velvet and birthday cake. Um, I went with birthday cake and I just had a serving of it. It was life changing. It was amazing. Well, before I wrap up this uh, vlog, I just wanted to kind of um, clarify that motivation's fun. Um, and there's no, I, I don't see an issue with, you know, getting motivation for it the day you know, or for really pushing it through your workout or something like that. That's totally fine. My whole point was that motivation is just temporary. So if you wake up and say you got plyometrics to do that day, which we all know how much fun plyometrics is, um, you might need to do, you know, a little bit of like, let me look at some other people who are doing the same program I'm doing just to get a little extra motivated just to do it. I mean, I'm going to, but you know, to really push yourself. So that's what I mean when I say that motivation is just not like, don't start a plan um, for changing your whole life in one fell swoop. It's just, it's not gonna work out for you. So small baby changes, small baby changes? <laughs> small baby steps my hair is in my mouth and I have no arms available Can you get that small baby steps help you get a maintainable and sustainable fit and healthy lifestyle as opposed to just like getting motivated one night making that Pinterest page of all your fitness ideals or you know liking all the Instagram things um, I totally just got distracted because the kids just ran in behind me uh, but you know, don't base that motivation for the rest of like your plan, your life, your diet, your whatever it is. Um, it's more of like a daily, like just kind of a fun thing to do. Yeah, I think that's what I'm trying to say.